When you buy one of the newer Dimensions or Dimensions Gold Collections kits, your floss comes pre-sorted on one of these cardboard organizers. Lately, I have seen a lot of people asking questions about them and complaining about them, so I thought I would share how I use them and why I like them so much, especially compared to the older packaging of Dimensions kits. I'm Michelle, this is my Romantic Tangle, and let's talk about cross-stitch kits. So when you buy a newer Dimensions kit, I don't know at what date they change, but instead of that bundle of floss that you have to sort yourself, they now come with the floss pre-cut on these cardboard organizers that are labeled. So all you have to do is look at the number on the chart and find that number on the card and you are good to go. I love it. It took me some experimentation to f decide how I wanted to use these cards. I separate one strand of the floss and just gently pull it up from the other five strands until I get to the cardboard. And then just with a little gentle tug, it will pull it free from the glue. And then I have my, the full length ready to stitch with. I did use to pull it until about a quarter inch from the cardboard and then cut it, but over time I discovered it is just as easy to tug it free, and I know that's only a quarter inch of floss, but if you're playing thread chicken, it might make a difference. Everything else is still here on the card waiting for you to need it. The first time I tried one of these, I cut an individual six strand piece from the card and promptly lost it because I wasn't stitching at home and I'm not always the most organized when I'm stitching. I have seen people cut holes at the opposite end of the card and tie them or do all sorts of other things. But I just work one strand at a time if I'm doing a blended color where I only need half a strand, if I'm not gonna use the whole thing, I will pull one strand and then cut it halfway up and use the rest of it the next time I need that color. It's easy. I love bobbins. I bobbinate my floss for most of my projects, but when it is already organized like this, I'm not gonna spend the extra time to bobbinate it. One thing that I have heard people complaining about is that it gets tangled, and it does. The reality is that if I shove it into my project bag and pull it out and shove it back into my bag, Pretty soon I've got a tangle. All I have to do is comb through this with my fingers. It will not be that hard to get it back the way it should be. And if I wrapped it around a piece of cardstock before I put it in my project bag, if I was just the slightest bit careful about what I was doing, it would not tangle nearly as bad. These tangles are on me. I've also heard someone say that it comes out of the packaging tangled, which has not been my experience. And guys, I have a lot of dimensions kits. This is one that I got for Christmas that I have not opened yet. And I'm trying to do this one handy because I can't find my little tripod. That's not tangled. That These are straight and twisted and it will just take the tiniest bit of finger combing to make it work. I couldn't do it with one hand holding the camera, but I literally finger combed through this a couple of times and it is perfectly usable. There is not the tangled nest that I've heard some people describe. Now, my own projects where I have shoved it willy-nilly into my project bag, yes, I have tangles and those are my own fault. I've seen people braid the floss to keep it nice and pretty and it looks gorgeous. I don't know that it is entirely necessary. This kit does have some of the colors where you need lots of pieces. There are also these little individually labeled hanks. Most of my bigger kits I'm finding that most of the floss is on the organization card. The few threads that there's a lot of are in these separate individually labeled hanks. I like the way it mentions this packaging their floss lately. What do you think? Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle. This is my romantic tangle, and I'll be back with you with more videos soon.